We're here at Marvel Stadium today just watching the boys run through their paces. So at the moment they're going through their speed, agility and jumps. Uh, they'll do a yo-yo test later this afternoon and then a 2K time trial uh, tomorrow morning. A big part of uh, the last uh, this three days is uh, interviews, getting to know the players a bit better. Uh, most of these guys have been in their homes and met the parents and spent a good hour or so um, getting to know them earlier in the year, but just get another chance to have 20 minutes with them, pick, a, pick apart a few little bits and pieces and, and follow up with some stuff that we missed out early in the year. The way things work now, the, you have to sort of know the entire pool. Um, you're never 100% sure what your picks are going to be, especially this year with the ability to trade your picks all the way up through the draft and, and live trading looking like it's going to come in this year. Uh, we just have to know the pool all the way from 1 to 100 for example um, because you never know what might happen between now and, and, and the time you actually have to call a player's name out. So we don't have a, a second or third round pick at the moment um, and part of that was based off last year um, to bring in extra picks a year early. Um, so we ended up picking Oscar Claverino and Ben Patton in the second and third rounds last year. Um, so that's a real benefit to us to get an extra 12 months of development into them with essentially picks that were 2018 picks. So um, at the moment we don't have anything in the middle part of the draft but there's other ways that we can sort of get ourselves back into the draft and, and hopefully um, you know, pick some more players like that again. We followed pretty much everyone um, through the TAC Cup, the various state leagues, national championships, mature ages, um, all the way through. So um, all your picks are important all the way through the rookie draft. Part of the process is sort of weighing up um, the combination of the players who are just really good players and perform well, but also have the attributes that we think can help us. Um, and also the positions that we think that we need sort of extra help in as well. So you're sort of looking at a bit of everything, but maybe a little bit more emphasis on speed and kick. Um, you know, you also need pretty strong competitors. Um, they're probably the three key ingredients that, that make it up. In a perfect world, you're trying to get players that you know um, are good players, good people, but also have those attributes that we're looking for.